you know, they think at the club that he has enough to play up to 45 minutes for us. So once we heard that, you know, we jumped at that idea because, you know, he means so much to the team, both on and off the field. It'll, it'll be nice to get him back. You know, his last time with the national team was at the, at the World Cup. So um, he's, he's been missed for a while, and it'll be nice to get him back into this group. You know, looking at what Josh has done to come back from the injury and put together a, a, a massive goals per minute performances um, since he's been back, it, it's been impressive. Regardless of, you know, the FIFA rankings or anything like that, we know that Jamaica is going to be a very difficult game. Um, you know, we're expecting a dogfight. And, you know, when you have the opportunity to go in the uh, overtime and then penalty kicks, it changes the mindset of the opponent a little. And it's going to be a very difficult game. So it's for us, there's no margin for error. And to learn that time and time again is invaluable for, for a group. We're excited to compete in the Nations League. We're excited to embrace knockout games and try to get our third Nations League title. Looking at this roster, um, it's a very strong roster. It's a roster with experienced Nations League players. And, um, you know, if, of all the times that we had to pick squads, this was probably the most difficult squad we've, we've had to pick due to the nature of the competition, with the level that players are performing at and the depth we have in our in our national team pool now.